What is up, my squirrel lights? It is I, your king, and today, a game that I remember from my childhood is Space Station Silicon Valley, brought to us by DMA Design, creators of games like Unirally, Lemmings, and... Oh yeah, the entire Grand Theft Auto series. This is the studio that would later go on to become Rockstar North, which is, well, obviously known entirely for their work on GTA nowadays. And uh, yeah, back before Grand Theft Auto really took off, I, I believe this was in fact before Grand Theft Auto 2 came out, um, they made this little game, Space Station Silicon Valley, which is, well... It's got a weird sense of humor, let's just put it that, that way. It's one of the rare... I mean, I believe this game also was on PlayStation 1 as well, but, um, but on Nintendo 64 in particular, this game is one of those rare third-party games that people actually say is really good, and with good reason. Now, I'm not about to tell you that this is some masterpiece or anything, because I don't think so. I think it is just a fine little puzzle game, but it's... It's more its silliness and dark humor that I think makes it truly stand out. And we're just going to play through a few levels and get to see kind of what it's all about before we move on. This won't be a super long video, but I did want to go over it at least a little bit because a lot of people will usually point to this game as one of those rare third party and 64 games. That's actually pretty good, like I said before. But yeah, it, it does kind of stand out that in that regard. So, uh, let's uh, just start the first file and jump right on in. We're getting into a little cutscene before we do the, the main, the big thing here and actually play the game. <laughs> and 
and so our adventure begins. Okay, smashing start. Ooh, ah, ow, my head, sheesh, what a landing. Evo, do as I say and we might just get out of this mess alive. Oh, and if we're going to repair you, we'll need as many of those purple power cells as possible. So we need to get some energy and get him a sheep. So yes, we are playing as Evo, which is the robot, or at least the chip inside of the robot, which I mean makes sense. It's basically the brain of the robot. And uh, before you feel too bad about this dog that got ran over by a ship and died, I mean, it's technically a robo dog, so... I mean, I don't know. Maybe you're like one of those. Well, robots have feelings too. I mean, do they? I mean, clearly this is not a sentient being. It's just a robot that is... I mean, it's, the whole point is that this is Silicon Valley or Space Station Silicon Valley where everything is robotic to some degree. And uh, yeah, Evo has the power to take over different creatures throughout Silicon Valley, but we'll be learning more about the different capabilities of each creature as we go through each level because, again, that is pretty much what the puzzles are about. It's kind of a collectathon. It's kind of a platformer. It's kind of an adventure game, kind of a puzzle game. It's a whole lot of things that you're going to experience as you go through each in every single mission now let's uh do that and can i break that yeah there we go get myself some uh some of those which i actually don't think i that's only health actually now that i think about it come here you sheepy sorry i hate to do it to you but i'm gonna just kind of actually do i maybe i don't need to kill you oh yes i do okay we're gonna transfer evo to, into the deactivated animal and then we get a little briefing on how the sheep works type sheep environment europe skill a floaty hop skill b ba. Water resistance, okay, you got all these other extra things, armor, strength, traction, none of that really matters, the main thing is just how to do certain mechanics. So, you've got uh, a couple things you can do here. So, we first need to, uh, if we jump in the air and then we hold A, we can actually float long distances. As long as we're going across gaps, that's not going to be super helpful right now, but it is something that we can do. Um, Evo, is that you? Listen, it's your favorite tune. I also like how he's just kind of hanging out. I don't think that is. I thought that was the song that Evo hated. I don't know about that one, but let's uh, take this. And we're going to float all the way back after we've made sure that we've grabbed absolutely every single purple thing here, which it looks like we are four short. So let, why don't we go and try to track those down here really quickly with our sheepy friend. Um, although I would like to be able to complete the... No, I don't want to do that. I would like to be able to actually complete the level. I, mean, I guess we technically got a sheep. I'd like to be able to continue as Roger because uh, being able to move around as the dog is just a lot better. So why don't we see if we can do a quick transfer back. I also love how we have just killed two lovers, which again, I said before, they are not sentient. And also it's got to give us the Roger briefing when we switch back to that too. But we already know the, the controls. A is to jump, B is to bite, and that's pretty much it. Sheep cannot defend itself, only the dogs can. And I think it's just kind of e extra dark that you're leaving these animal robot corpses all over the level whenever you're trying to collect yourself certain things. But, oh, actually, can I swim through this? I think I can. Maybe I'm supposed to be a sheep for this part. I don't know, but I'm going to grab all these really quickly. I think we're fine. I don't think there's an issue with being the dog. There are definitely certain animals you do not want to be while going in water but i'm pretty sure being the dog is okay why am i still missing one more where would it possibly be they're usually in pairs so it's very weird that i don't have one of the freaking thingies that i need to finish this level and on the first level too oh it's oh there it is it was, it was probably because it was the draw distance i couldn't see it until i got really close but that should be everything for the level, and then we can move on. Pretty good start so far. I mean, like I said, it's just the first level. But things are going to get a little bit more complicated, and you're going to have to learn how to use the different tactics. Because that was basically just learn how to bite a sheep to death. Was that, was that like a good job clap, or was that a board clap? Anyway... Here's an example of how the whole level system works. So you got this whole ring here, and we're trying to complete each segment as we go. Let's move on to the next one. Get four sheep into the pen and find the mouse with wheels. Let's do it. Okay, this one is a little different because instead of biting all the sheep and transferring them, you can actually just straight up uh, chase them around where you need to go. So I'm going to do that first. So let's get you in there. So stay right there, and that sheep shouldn't go anywhere. We should be fine. We're just going to do this for all four sheep in the area. There's another one up here, so we'll get you next. They all just run away. So let me try to literally herd you in. So off you go. And once all four of them are in there, there's a gate switch we're going to activate that should allow us 
to finish this. Oh, don't go into the freaking fence. Come on. Go that way. Go that way. There you go. Okay, that's two in. And now we got to get this one. Let's try to give it a wide berth so it's not still running from us. So let's go over here. There we go. Perfect, perfect. And I, I know that there's a fourth sheep like far away, but I think I actually need to use it first before I put it into the pen. Let me make sure that all three of them stay in there. Just really, really quickly. Because I don't think the sheep are supposed to be dead. Let me just see. Okay, so as we go up here, it is going to give us a little demonstration as to what these sheep can actually do. So there it is floating across the gap. And that's how you're supposed to get some of those things. I do want to quickly check and see if there is another sheep over here that I can get. I don't think there is. There's another dog that will try to attack you. Um, but I'm pretty positive the last sheep is the one I'm going to have to transform into. So, because we need to be able to get to all of these, because Roger, on his own, cannot do that. As you can see, I can't get up on that little island there. I can go up the slope, though, which I'm pretty sure the sheep went up here. Yes, it did. All right, so this one is the one that will be chosen to be sacrificed in the name of finishing this level. No, no, wait, you were supposed to go. I don't want to leave you suffering. So, dude, it's, I feel so bad. I really genuinely feel awful for these little guys. Okay, well, that's done. All right, now we are the sheep, and you can always tell because, man, Evo is so determined all the time. Look at that freaking face. So let's go, and then we're just going to do the same thing as we saw what we saw the sheep do before. We're going to cross the gap to get all of these little purple core thingies. So, like so. Oh, I hope I held that quickly enough so I can actually make this. There we go. Okay, there's the first one. I also love how there's just straight up speakers that are just like, just playing for absolutely no reason. Okay, and the sheep don't like the water very much, but you, you're mostly fine to just kind of float across it. Now, what I can do, oh, that, oh, I probably should have deactivated this gate. No, we're good, we're good. I just had to bat at it. Okay, perfect, there we go. Now, the problem is, is that when you're, as Evo's chip, your health slowly drains the longer you're outside of the body. So that's why you want to never jump out like this for too long after, um, uh, you never want to be walking around like that for too long, otherwise you're going to be in trouble. So let's make sure. Okay, sheep secured, done. One of them's dead, but eh, that's a technicality. <laughs> let's just uh, let's just now head over to the far side where that dog is, and we can start collecting the rest of those chips, as well as complete our other objective here when we go into mission brief, which is find the mouse with wheels, and we are going to need him to complete the level. Yeah, I don't think we can complete this level with... Roger, actually. So see that little dust cloud running around? I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, never mind. I thought that's what that was. No, that's just the draw distance of the other dog running away. I thought that that's what that was, but I guess I was wrong. Now, the whole gimmick of the mouse with wheels is that it is extremely fast and can actually, like, speed up to go off ramps and whatnot. So we'll have to go and get that next. But we got things in the water over here. So let's... And I believe... Oh, that's right. There's a current here. Um... I do believe, I hope I can make this and actually get to it in time. Um, oh, come on. Oh, really? Oh, I might have to come from the other angle because I, I can't get to that. I really hope I didn't. Uh, this was, It wasn't a bad thing that I switched to the dog instead of staying the sheep. Oh, come on. Really? Can I not reach that as the, as the dog? Do I have to use the sheep for this? No, they're not really going to make me do that, are they? I know I can't use... Okay, I got that one. Thank goodness. Um, yeah, I know I can't use the mouse. Because that is... Yeah, it's not allowed to touch the water. Now we have a little bit of platforming we have to do here. So let's grab those. And by grab those, I mean... Okay. Yes, that's right. And then the platforms flip the other way. So this will allow us to get the rest that were high above. Just got to make sure we make this last jump. <sighs> well, you can't do that. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get it. It is a little bit slippery platforming on this, as is the case with most N64 games. All right, let's try that again. I love how I like, always have to give myself a running start, because I, for some reason, I think that that's actually better. Okay, that is where the platform is, and I also see the purple thingies across the gap. just want to make sure that I collect all of the ones over here before I get, uh, I get too excited here. There's another one. All right, let's go track down that mouse, shall we? So I'm gonna head on in here, and hold on a second. It, it's here, but it's deactivated. Let's switch to it. And here we go. Okay, so 
Racing Mouse, and I probably should have let the whole briefing play, but you pretty much get the gist here. It's very quick. Um, it is able to do um, a quick turnaround with B, and then with A, it's allowed to speed up. It does not have a jump ability, if I uh, remember correctly. Yes, you can do a little boost there just to kind of cross the gap. It drains your blue meter, and like I said, you don't... Oh, well, that was immediately dumb. You don't want to go into the water like I just did, so I actually might be dead here because I was getting a little too out of control maybe i can make this without dying okay i did Woof! thank goodness but this gives me an opportunity to kind of demonstrate how fast this thing can go and yeah you can just kind of fling yourself around the level but again i just got to make sure i don't go into the water but now we need to make the gap here so let's do that and don't go into the teleporter just yet because i want to grab this please tell me that's all of them it is okay we're good so now we can head into the teleporter and there's the level wow i took way too much damage there also, interesting... Wow, that is quite the tree model, gotta say. What do you think, buddy? Do you think I did a good job? I don't think I did. I thought that was quite quite the mess, actually. All right, Honeymoon Lagoon. Here we go. On to the next one. Deactivate the big machine, deactivate the electrical fence, and get something soft and fluffy. The electric fence is linked to the big machine. Play around with it and see what happens. Oh, yeah, and bring me back something soft and fluffy to hug. All right, so that is a few clues, but we're just going to have to kind of figure this out. So... We're going to be playing as the mouse for this one. Luckily, we're back to full health, which isn't too much of an issue. Now, we can uh, do that B attack to get ourselves some health out of that box if we need it. But let's have a look around here and see what we can find. So, something soft and fluffy, huh? Well, we do have an attack method, which is good. But I can't get around that fence. So, I'm going to need to find another way over. We can jump across these ramps here, which is good. But hold on, I can't go that way, so that kind of gets rid of that possibility let's see can i go across here Eh, just a little bit of damage from the water not anything too bad here all right well let's figure this out uh can i get up on top of that there we go so let's go oh, oh come on i gotta sustain that speed man all right well let's try to get ourselves a little bit more of a running start here uh, uh get get up they okay there we go. Okay, thank goodness. Can I... I can hit that switch. Um, or do I need... Yeah, I want to step on all of these. Oh my gosh, dude. The controls for this mouse. The controls for this mouse. It's so floaty. Like, I can't believe it. Okay, there... I swear there is a... Nah, that's not what I meant to do. I thought there was a center camera button, but maybe I'm incorrect about that because most... Uh, yeah, most N64 games are usually pretty good about that, but I don't think this one was uh, smart enough to think ahead on that one. Am I not going fast enough here? I am. Okay, I barely got it. Thank goodness. All right, so there's that. And then do I need to hit all of these in rapid succession too? I may. I'm going to be able to get this done. I'm going to try it. Oh, that one's already done. Okay, so no, I don't have to. Just one at a time. And that should... Okay, there we go. It's going to shoot all of those out. I probably should have done that first. Then I could have got them when I was hitting all the switches. But we've deactivated the big machine. That's two of the objectives done. And luckily, we can't re-deactivate these switches here. So that's good. But now, we should be able to go across where that fence was. Which was over this way. If I'm not mistaken. Why are you so slippery and slidery? My goodness. Oh, yeah. That's right. We get the Foxos in this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These little silly guys. Um, they will try to harass us, so we're just going to avoid them. I don't think we want to be one of the Foxos for this, though. I'm pretty sure that is one of the creatures we don't want. There is, in fact, a different thing we need to complete the soft and fluffy requirement. And I want to say it's just cheap again, but I could be wrong about that. We still need to make a full lap around the level first. Um, is that it? That might be it. Uh, yes! Okay, it is. So, it's the it's the sheeps again, so we're going to attack them, which is a little... Oh, wow, that actually killed a lot faster than I thought it was going to. All right, we got the sheep, so that should be the entire mission brief done. Now, all that remains is getting the last of those chips. So, now we're going to make our way around the level and grab those. Yeah, you kind of get the gist of how this game works. It's, I mean, it's basically just this on a constantly ever-growing scale. Complete with its really kind of twisted, dark and dark sense of humor that just... I don't know. I, it just kind of builds upon itself. And it's a very unique and different thing. I, I can't say that I'm like, oh yeah, this is one of the greatest games ever made. I don't think so. I think it's just... It's all right. It's just that this was at a, you know, a time and place where game developers were just kind of 
doing whatever worked. And I mean, especially I would say Western game developers were like the biggest perpetrators of this, where they were just kind of like, yeah, you know, let's just kind of make whatever we can make. And oh, wait. Oh, can I even make that normally? Ah, Fox, go away. Okay, you know what? I might have to do it this way. Okay, we're going to float. So I don't want to land in this water for too long, if I'm not mistaken. But that elevator is my saving grace. If I can just land. Oh, no, this water is safe. I thought this water damaged you for some reason. No, we can just go onto this elevator and this will take us up. So there we go. Okay, now we need to go after the rest of those things, which it looks like I can just kind of float to each of them. If I'm very careful about it, I think I could even honestly float to the top platform, but oh, I definitely dropped too low when I did that. Depth perception was my enemy there. Okay, can I make to the, make it to this before it goes back up again? Yo, dude, I had that. Oh, but anyway, yeah, this was kind of an era where Western game developers were just kind of throwing whatever ha ha they had at the wall. It's it's one of those double A games, you know what I mean? Like this, yeah, this is developed or published by Take Two, who was kind of a big deal uh, even back then. But I don't know. It, it it felt like you know this was before everything was triple A or indie, you know, triple A or die, which I always thought is kind of what has spelled the death of video games or has like ushered it in. Is that sort of sentiment where everything's got to be triple A or um, or indie or it's just not worth making anymore and. I think that's stupid. I, I miss this kind of era where we got a lot of games like this, like from from PS1 and N64. I mean, honestly, even before that, I mean, you could go all the way back to the NES and there were games that were made like that. But that's because the notion of AAA wasn't even a thing. And hold on a second. What are you? Here we go. And we got ourselves a springy thingy environment. You're I love how it, the environment is Europe. Jump and then a bass. So this is like a sheep springy. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave that sheep there. And we're going to wait for this elevator to come down. And then we'll get to show how this thing works. And I still am missing one of the things. So I'm going to have to get like a vantage point and see if I can't see it. Which is going to be kind of hard to do actually. But you can see I can kind of hop around like so to make it to certain things. Is there a way I can like shift the camera? Probably not. Ooh, I'm gonna, it's going to be kind of a crapshoot trying to get to whatever the last thing is. Maybe I have to take this all the way around the level. I could be wrong. There is this attack that I have, too, which I technically could have gotten before I switched to the mouse, but alas, I didn't. Now, the problem with this one is that you can't uh, really move without the actual act of jumping. So I'm going to kind of make my way around the level and see if I can't track this last one down. And if I can't, well, then we'll just move on without it. Although, actually, it might be... Um, that one over... Oh, it might be that ring, honestly. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I need to go back to the mouse again. All right, hold on. We'll, we'll do a little bit of a swap. Um, if I oh, if I can, if I can get back to it. Oh, come on. Dude, th this is like... I am not intended to be... I don't think the game intended for me to be right here. Because this is not working out. Can I jump, please? I, I, I can't jump. I can't jump. Holy crap. Okay, so I have screwed myself. Uh, give me a second. Okay, we got it. Finally, my goodness, that took me forever to do. Now all I need to do is make my way up the ramp here very carefully and jump. Did that not get it? Hold on, let me try that one more time with feeling. Okay, let's really go as fast as we... Ah, pff, pff. Okay, come on. I know I can do this. I know I can do this. It is, like, it, it's at least doing me the courtesy of, like, rotating the camera. There we go. Did that count? No, it did not. So what, what was even the point of going through that ring? Well, shoot, I still need... Oh, there's another one up here even. Ooh, okay, hold on. We got we got more rings. Maybe going through all of them gets me a thing, possibly. I got to get up here. Here we go. Oh, there. Oh, it's literally right there. And I missed it. Okay, ding -a -ling, you got all the rings. I don't know what that does for me. Um. Oh, there's like a trophy thing there. Okay, well, good to know. We are definitely going to go after the sheep that is down. I left down in the water again instead of the springy sheep because I really don't want that back. I don't even like the way that thing controls. Let's grab this. And I wonder if what I can do here, because I don't want to put the mouse in the water, is I can get the fox out. Whoa, whoa. Oh, my gosh. Did you see that? That thing destroyed me. Holy crap. That fox was like... 
That was the that was a bigger brutality than I've ever seen in a Mortal Kombat game. What the heck was that? Oh man, I have to do that whole level again. Okay, I actually thought ahead this time and decided to grab everything on the way up rather than having to make a full lap around again. Those foxes, man, I didn't realize they did so much damage. That was just insane. They actually did it again to me on my way up and I had to go and heal, but that should be everything. Uh, what? I don't know why I stopped walking there. Okay, I was totally holding the control stick in one direction, but that was weird. But all right, there we go. We now have everything and all we need to do is get to the teleporter and that should be the level. Um... We might have time for one more, I think. So we'll we'll go to that next, probably. So let me just kind of float over to this platform and then down here. I'm pretty sure this is the right direction. Oh yeah, totally. Perfect. Beautiful. So that went a lot better the second time. I, I just couldn't believe those foxes, man. They're scary. All right. Thank you for the sarcastic or just like idle clapping all right battery farm last level let's do it raise the bridge sections grow some carrots and switch off the electric fence farm's gone to the dogs damn mutts took over the farmhouse and set up an electric fence around the exit and i need chow now get me some carrots okay one thing at a time here what are we starting oh, we're starting with though we're starting with the mouse oh this will be fun with its like if he controls, oh boy, this is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, okay. Is just getting up here going to be a nightmare? I think it is. All right, here we go. Uh, one thing. Jeez. This might take a minute because holy crap, these controls. Okay, I'm going to try to. No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, easy. Let's center that camera just a little bit. There we go. Okay, we made it. Phew. All right, let's see here. So we got this whole, oh man, there's a lot going on in here. Um, how am I supposed to get up there? I probably need a springy sheep. There's a bighorn sheep in there. I don't know what's going on with you. So let me let me just go over these things really quickly in my mind. Raise the bridge sections, grow some carrots, and switch off the electric fence. Okay, um, seems doable. Uh, can I make that? Nope, that was a bad idea. Oh, can I even get out of here? Oh gosh. Oh, th okay, thank goodness. Okay, we're fine. I need to get across there with a sheep somehow. I'm guessing I have to go to war with these guys in the pens. There we go. Take them out. That the bighorn sheep's fighting me though. I got one. Oh gosh, yeah, he is fighting me back. Hold on, hold on. Whoa. Oh, oh, dude, I can't move. I couldn't move. I just stopped moving for some reason. What the heck was that about? Oh boy, did not go well at all. All right, I'll try that again. My gosh, dude, you, it's so easy to die in here. I don't remember this game being so hard, but geez, it actually is quite punishing. That sheep is not anything to be trifled with. All right, I gotta be careful here. Let's try that again once more with feeling. There we go. All right, that's a lot better. Right, I just gotta figure out how to get across that gap there. Um, okay, well, I'll take that while I'm here. So that's good. Nothing behind. How do I get that bighorn sheep, though? That's what I want to know. I wonder if... Maybe I just need to possess a regular sheep. And then I might be... Whoa, dude, they're, like, dodging me, too. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. I, okay, I just need to just avoid the big one. I don't know if he's going to attack me if I become one of the other sheep. They are, like... Doing like a jo okay, okay. We need to just to stay away from that guy. I don't think I can beat him either, dude. They're so nimble. Come here, uh, you're isolated. Don't jump again. Oh my gosh, get no, get away from me. Come on, just gotta keep hitting them until they die. Oh my gosh, keep going. Ah. Uh. Okay, I got one. Quick switch. Are we safe? Okay, yeah, it left me alone. Perfect. All right, let me grab this health really quickly. And now we can get the heck on out of here, and we can start making our way across. Okay, so, first things first, I think, can I jump on one of these boxes and just immediately... Wait, will the plants hurt? What? I didn't notice that. That's ridiculous. Okay, well, we can get that at least. The problem is we can't open these boxes as the sheep because we don't really have an attack. But we just need to make our way across the bridge here. And this should allow me to disable or to do whatever I need to do for this. Let's see. Yeah! Perfect. Okay, bridge is done. So that's good at least. But I wonder if I need to switch back to the mouse for whatever this is. What does this do? Um, oh! 
Oh. Um, ex dude, is that dog shooting missiles at me? Holy crap. What was that about? Okay, we're going back to the mouse. All right, well, the bridge, yeah, because bridge is up. We're fine. Yeah, stay away from those plants, because my goodness. All right. Don't mind me. Just going to do a little hot swap here. All right, here we go. Let's get the heck. Oh, gosh. Okay, I am being chased. Whoop. Yeah, I'm out of there. All right, perfect, perfect. All right, let's go get some more health really quickly, because I definitely need that. Luckily, that gives me most of it back. I'm going to save the other boxes for later. Okay, how you doing? Is it going to crush you? Oh, got to time that right, huh? Maybe if I can. Let's see. I, I should not have grabbed that. Is he coming over here? I just touched it. Got to time it right, right? Yeah! Beautiful! Okay, that's cool. All right, I think that's enough. We can stop that now. Missile dog. Let's see. Type, racing dog environment, Europe, skill A, speed boost, and B is missiles. Okay, so we can go fast and we can shoot missiles. Uh, let's hit that. Are we growing carrots? Perfect, grew some carrots. Okay, cool, I'll take that. Now, what can I do with these missiles here? What, what, is, what is this thing right here? I actually don't know. Uh, let me go back to my mission brief again. What am I still missing? Ra oh, raise the bridge sections and switch off the electric fence. Okay, well, I have missiles now, which is good. So I can probably use those to my advantage. I don't like those plants, though. Um, how in the world? Oh, there's another sheep. Perfect. That works out great. Where are you going? Come back. Come back. There you go. You stay right here. Gosh, that was just a massacre. All right, perfect. Now we will use this sheep to get across. And then we should be good. We're sort of clearing a path for ourselves. What? How did I not make that? Seriously? Wow, that just, that wasn't even, let, let me, let me try that again. Up. Oh, dude, it's that, so it, it kind of d goes up and down in like a, uh, like a cadence. And it's kind of hard. There we go. That time it went up first instead of down. I don't know what that's about. Is that, I hope that's not always RNG based. That would be very, because that'd be very annoying if that is the case. But let's switch to our upgraded doggo now. And uh, see what we can shoot over here. So, what do we got? What, what is that over there? Can I shoot that? Uh, if I can, like, shoot missiles at that. Nope, I don't know what that is over there, but I'm just going to ignore it for now. We got foxes, which is a little scary, but we also have sheep. Okay, I might have to shoot the fox. Oh, oh, God. oh, dude, these foxes are scary. Dude, 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 dude. Y'all need to chill. Y'all need to chill. Okay, let's kill the sheep first. Am I being chased up here by the foxes? I am not. Okay, we got you. I need to get rid of these foxes somehow. Yeah! Oh my gosh, dude, they're like invincible. They're ridiculous. Can I like shoot from up here? Oh yeah, totally. Come on. I think we got one. Holy crap, I cannot believe we actually got one. That actually might come in handy. Let's see. So we got racing fox now. Yep, uh, skill A is teleport, and B is tail attack. Uh, teleport, you say. Whoa! Uh, let's see if we can do that again. Whoa, that is freaking cool. Then we have our little tail attack. Man, these things are nimble and strong. I like it. I think I need that sheep to get across the gap again. Can I mess you up? It, it is kind of a double hitter. Eh, almost got you. I don't want to take too much damage, though. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to switch to the sheep for a moment. Kind of making my own little collection of animals here. Can we oh, can we get up there, please? Is there is there an easy way to do so? I actually don't know if I can. It doesn't seem doable. Um, maybe I have to like ran, race myself off the gap here. No, can't do that. I can't do teleport up there either. No, it doesn't like that. Well, how in the world... Oh, maybe like this. Oh! Okay, hold on. This is definitely possible. Okay, so first, let's get up on the hedge. Then over here. And we'll make our way up onto this thing. Then jump the gap. Thank you. All right, it gave it to me. All right, now... Can we make it all the way over here? I don't know what this is going to do, but I'm going to try it anyway. Yeah! What did that do? 
Oh. Is it growing more carrots? Those don't look like carrots to me. Those look like other things. Is this just like a little bonus objective that I don't even know if I'm supposed to be doing right now? It may be. Let's find out. Hello? Oh, sweet! Oh, there's how I get uh, some of these things. Oh, that's even better. Watermelons. Got it. All right, so how am I on those? I've still got six left to get, so I need to be making sure that I take care of everything in the level. Um, I'm not missing anything up here, am I? Let's see. I wonder if... I'm going to check something here really quickly. Let me see if I can time this right. Oh, they totally. Yep, there is something up here. Okay, good. Glad I checked that. Yeah! What is this thing here? Is that a camera? Free tour! Oh, it literally just lets me have a preview of the level. That's kind of cool. All right, well, that actually does help me a little bit. I'll take it. Um, but I was thinking outside the box there. Oh, no, no, no. Let me drop down. There we go. All right, I like that. All right, now let's go back across over to where our dog and fox are. And, oh gosh, I kind of want to get myself some more health before I take on... I, I think I'll just switch to Missile Dog and then just bombard that last fox. And then we should be good. Uh, this is just... Oh gosh, the strangeness of this game. It's so funny. I love it, though. I really do. I'm like, I, like again, I think the gameplay is just kind of okay. It gets a little boring after a while, but it's still just like... It's so unique and different that in that regard, I kind of love it. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. We're just going to fire at the fox. Okay, it's not crossing this, like, sidewalk here. So if I can just keep messing with it. It's not enough to take down the fence. Oh, we got a door here. Hold on. Is there something alive in here? It seems like it. Um, oh, the Z is the center camera button. It's very strange, though. Hold on. Was, is there something alive in here? There's a switch. That Okay, that turns the gate off. Can I get back out of here now? I thought I saw something alive, but maybe I'm incorrect. Maybe I just saw like a spark of some sort. All right, now I need to figure out how to get up on top of this house. Um, which, that's a very... Oh, you know what? I think I actually do know what it is. I think it's actually inside. Um, I think it has something to do with the chimney. So, don't mind me. I'm going to go in here. Can I break that or can I just what do I do in here or is there is there a way to go up maybe hmm I'm actually a little confused oh, uh, pardon me television it, can I not really can I really not go up here hold on all right let's do some swapping we'll do some hot swapping here see if anything else does me any good let's see I literally can't even get up on the thing with that, with the, with this guy. It's too low to the ground. The fox is a low rider, so it doesn't work that way. Is it? So it's really nothing to do with the chimney? That seems like the obvious answer, but maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe there's like a current in there, and I'll float up to the top. I don't know. We'll see. Let's find out. Nope. I really don't know what uh, the answer is to this, actually. I'm completely at a loss here. But I don't want to leave the level without grabbing absolutely everything, so... Hang tight! Alright. I think I figured out how to get across this, but this is not the easiest thing. There we go. Managed to make it that time. Holy crap. Uh, not the easiest thing to get, but I managed to get all of them. Now, there is actually a trophy for this level, and I kind of figured out in a roundabout way how to get it. Um... Although I'm still missing two of the purple thing, What am I still missing, I wonder? I'm going to have to go backtrack. But it's it's okay because I'm going to go back to the beginning of the level anyway. Because what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to kill all the sheeps in the pen. And actually, are there thingies up on top of that? I don't know. I'm going I'm to have to look around to see if I can't find the rest. But yeah, we're going to use the dog to get the rest of, uh, to get the rest of them. So really quickly... I wonder if we'll actually get anything for this. I also still have opportunities to heal, so that's good at least. All right, let's get to work. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. That was ridiculous. Cool. And it's in the chimney. Okay, so wait. I have to drop into the chimney, though, with the sheep, don't I? Okay, well, I guess that's probably gettable, but I'll have to figure that out. Now I just need to find the last of these two cells, the two power cells to freaking... Uh, get this done if I can remember where I put them. 
They're not over here, are they? In this whole empty lot? No, they're not. Oh, they're up. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, hold on. Well, it's a good thing there's a sheep right here because that is exactly what I need. So we're going to actually have to take the path back up again. Oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, just let that thing keep going. Perfect. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to jump out of this thing. There we go. Made it. Okay, cool. I wonder if I can jump back without having to go the long way around. Let's find out. Yeah, beautiful. And now to the other side. Oh my gosh, that little float up. Always so much suspense. All right, there we go. All the power cells are done. Now we should just be able to float back here. So all we need to do now is get ourselves that trophy and then we can call this a level and we can also call this a video because I feel like that has been a sufficient showcase of what this game is all about. So let's hop if we can't. Yeah, there we go. I almost missed it. <laughs> I feel like that's been a sufficient showcase of what Space Station Silicon Valley is all about. So, guys, thank you all so much for watching this little video, this little showcase of a game that I have some interesting memories of. This is one of those games that, like, I had a cousin that owned it. I had, I think I rented it at Blockbuster, like, once, and thought it was just the weirdest thing ever, but I, I, I played it well into the night, and beyond that, don't have a whole lot of memories of it. I just remember it for its weirdness, and I feel like that is... It's more than enough to form memories sometimes. So with all that said, thank you guys all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video very, very much. And I'll see you all in the next one.